Oh, oh yeah, uh, I had a lot of things. <laughs> you had a, you had a lot of things like what? What did you do? Yeah, I have electronic um, dictionary. Uh, it had a niche on side. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I put some uh, additional dictionary like uh, uh, memory tip on that place. So before okay. I bought French dictionary, uh, the small tip. Then mm -hmm. I was using that for long, but I, I wanted to buy another one, uh, mm -hmm. Spanish. Then I went to the electronic device shop. I ordered. Mm -hmm. Then I received, but it's not. It that didn't work. So it, it I didn't went, work with uh, with your with your machine. What do you what do you have? Like an iPad or a or my uh, electronic dictionary. Your electronic dictionary. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. I went to the appliance shop again. Uh, um, my French dictionary uh, work, works very well, like this, but this Spanish, no, no doesn't work. Then she checked my dictionary, the two old, <laughs> the same time. Ah. <laughs> so I, I needed to buy a uh, new uh, electronic uh, dictionary again. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm very sad. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that happens sometimes. All right. Uh, how about you? How about you, Daniel? How was uh, How was your weekend? Uh, well, it was pretty quiet. I didn't do anything fun. <laughs> okay. You just hung out at home. Yeah, I was watching movies with my girlfriend. But yeah, studying almost all the week. Okay. What What are you studying for? Uh, aviation books. I'm looking for a okay. job right now. All so right. You gotta prepare so for uh, interviews and. The test. Yeah, have you? But you already have your license, right? Yep. Is it? Uh, do you have it for uh, small aircraft or commercial? Uh, small aircraft, but small aircraft. you can you can work with that in, for example, a commercial airline like Avianca or whatever. Okay. They're gonna teach you the the course. And they're oh, gonna really? certify you. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, good luck. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you. Uh, you land a job here, Matt. That'd be great. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Christiane? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Fine. Uh, I'm Brazilian. Okay. I, I'm living in San Diego now for studying English. Okay. So uh, you're, you're in San Diego, California? Yes. Okay. Very nice. And how, how long have you been there for? Uh, seven months. Seven months. Okay. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. And uh, uh, have, I imagine you've gone to the beach uh, already? Yes, of course. Okay, have you gone to San Clemente Beach? San Clemente, no. Okay, that's that's my favorite beach there. Yeah. It's a, it's a little further, let's see, I think it's south of San Diego. Uh, or could be... It's near San Diego. Yeah, it's near San Diego. It may, it may be north, uh, I can't remember. I've never... I've driven there once, once when I was a teenager, but I used to go there all the time when I was when I was younger. We would go to San Diego Beach, um, uh, San Clemente, as well as Huntington, which is up further north. I uh, live but, yeah. in Pacific Beach. What's that? I live in, in Pacific Beach. You know. Pacific Beach. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Very nice. Well, yes. enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Thank you. All right, uh, Victor. How you doing, Victor? I'm doing well. Hi, Chad. Hi there. Good to have you back in class. Glad to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you. How was your weekend, Victor? Uh, we drove uh, to the river. Okay. And did you go fishing, or did you go swimming, or uh, did you eat, or what did you guys do there? Uh, swim, swimming and uh, take it down. Okay. Cool. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right, um, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Um, our first, let's see here. Um, this isn't, isn't going to be our first one. I need to switch my stories here. Our first one is right here. So we want a pet. Eve, okay. And let me give you the uh, link, you guys. It's going to be in the. Uh, Verbling chat as well as the Google chat box. Okay, there it is for you. And let's start off with Christiane. And Christiane, let me have you read from Rachel and Renee. 
um, finish uh, this, uh, this part here and then read down to uh, here where it says in the park with him, please. Okay. Rachel and Irene are nine years old twins. However, they not look identical. Rachel has brown hair and brown eyes, while Irene has blonde hair, blonde hair and blue eyes. For the longest time, the twins were begin uh, their mom to have a pet. Their choice for a pet were as different as they were. This is where, where the problem began. Rachel would say, a dog is a better pet uh, than a hamster because you can teach a dog tricks and run in the park with him. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, first up, we're going to practice the short I sound. So here, instead of saying tricks with an E, tree, it's I, tri, tricks, tricks. Tricks. Try that. Tricks. There you go. Good. Okay, next up is the word better. Now, uh, here there's two things. We want to work on the short E sound, okay, as well as the flap T. Okay, so this is E, eh, B. Better, better. Better. Okay, good. Yeah, make sure not to say ba, bader. Okay, it's eh, better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a dog is a better pet. Try that. The dog is a better pet. There you go. Good. Uh, next up is uh, the name Rachel. Ray. This is a long A sound. Rachel. Rachel. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, let's practice the uh, th sound. Okay. So this is this is where the this this is where this is where. Good. One more time. This is where. This is where. Excellent. Uh, next up is the t sound. All right. So um, in Portuguese, when you pronounce your t, yeah, it uh, it sort of feels like a small ch. Okay. You say pitch. Pitch. Okay, so when when in English when we pronounce our our T sound, okay, your tongue has to come way forward in the front of your mouth, okay, and then it drops down like this. So we say t pet. Okay, instead of closing the mouth and saying pet and leaving the tongue up at the top of the mouth like this, pet, it's pet pet. pet. Okay, try it again. Pets. Pets. Almost. So you want your tongue to curve further down. Right now, your tongue is still at the top of your mouth, and that's why it sounds like this. Pet. Pets. Okay, instead of t, t, it's t, t. So it's Pets. a harder T sound. Pets. Pets. Okay. All right. Getting better. Uh, let's try out. Okay, let's try out another sound. Okay. Right here, this word is beg, begging, begging. Try that. Begging. Okay, beg. one more time. Beg, begging. Beg, begging. Uh-huh, good. So this I, this is going to be a long E sound. So um, sometimes, yes, people say begging, okay, and they, and they pronounce it with a short I sound, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. That is how some people pronounce it, but, but we want to learn... Okay, uh, an informal way. So if you were to say begging, okay, that's more of street language. I'm begging you. Okay, so mm -hmm. instead of saying begging, okay, pronounce a long e. It's e, beggy, begging, begging. Begging. There you go. That's it. Okay, very good. Um, and your last one, uh, your last one is here. You added an s on year, saying nine years old twins. Okay, there's no S there, so this is nine year, nine year old twins. Try that. Nine year old twins. Good, one more time. Nine year old twins. Nine year old twins. Great. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you too. No problem. All right, let's go to Daniel. Mm -hmm. Please read from Renee Would Say. And read down to the bottom of this paragraph Food and Water, please. Rene would say, a hamster would make the best pet because we wouldn't have to walk the hamster. And we could sit and watch him run around on his wheel. 
Mom said they need they needed to sit down together and make a list of each pet they talk about and how they would care for that pet. A pet is a lot of responsibility, said mom. Uh, said mom, sorry. Someone has to make sure there's always food and water. Okay, nice job. Um, all right, let's take a look here. First up at responsibility. So our S's here, they are going to be unvoiced S's. So instead of responsibil uh, res response, your first one was a Z sound. So it's going to be response, responsibility. Responsibility. Good. One more time. Responsibility. Responsibility. Okay, good. Uh, next up is talked. Okay, give me a, a T sound here at the end. They talked about. They talked about. Good, good. Nice job. Uh, next one. Um, okay, your your D sounds were really good, except here. You used a Spanish D saying wouldn't. Okay, this is D, would. Just like water, would, no. wouldn't, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Good. One more time. Uh, we're going to say, we wouldn't have to talk. Uh, sorry, we wouldn't have to walk. We wouldn't have to walk. That's it. Good job. Good. Um, next up, and your last one is hamster. Instead of hamster, hum, it's ham. Hamster. Hamster. Great. All right. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Heidi. Heidi, let me have you read from The Girls Agreed. And read down to here, poodle, and a white poodle, please. Okay. The girls agreed and sat down that night to make their list. After school, the next day, they went to Mr. Riley's pet shop and asked Mr. Riley to, ha to see some puppies and hamsters. The girls were gonna have to spend the money they saved from birthdays and Christmas together to buy their pet. Mr. Riley showed them a cute brown beagle puppy and a white poodle. Okay, very good. All right, let's uh, let's practice some uh, combining or linking. Okay. Um, so we are going to combine these two sounds right here. So instead of ending or uh, finishing off that D sound, we're going to combine it with the TH. So instead of saying showed them, we're going to say showed them, showed them. Try that. Showed them. Yeah, there you go. So Mr. Riley showed them a cute brown beagle. Let's try that, okay? Mr. Riley showed them a cute brown, a cute brown beagle. There you go. That's it. Nice job. Good combination there. Um, all right. Let's go to your RL. Okay. Uh, Mr. Riley's Pet Shop. Mr. Riley's Pet Shop. Try that. Mr. Riley's Pet Shop. Good, good. And your last one here is the GR sound. Instead of agreed, agur. Give me a good R here. Agreed. Agreed. Good. One more time. Agreed. Agreed. Excellent. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And next is Victor. Okay. Okay. Victor, please read from. He also showed. Um, read down. Read down to here. Decided on a rabbit. Go ahead. Okay. He also showed them a brown and white hamster. The girls brought the list they made the night before and asked Mr. Riley many questions on how to care for each pet. Finally, the girl said, Mr. Riley, we have made our decision. We will take that cute white bunny with the adorable pink nose. Mr. Riley was so surprised. How did you decide on a rabbit? Okay, nice job. Really good job. Um, really, everything sounded, sounded pretty nice. Um, uh, yeah, surprise was pretty good. Um, the only thing I really wanted to practice was the E sound at the end of Riley. Okay, your other E sounds like many, you were able to nail that pretty good. Uh, bunny sounded fine. Because uh, sometimes when you say your Y at the end, you say bunny or many. Okay, um, that's what you did here with Riley. You said Riley. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to say Mr. Riley was so surprised. Mr. Riley? was so surprised. That's great. Yeah, everything else was good. Okay, really nice job. Girls, 
Yeah, girls was fine. Oh. Girls was fine. Yeah, you didn't say girls, uh, oh. or like swallowing that R. Yeah, yeah. girls sounded it, just fine. Yeah. It was my my problem. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's sounding good. It sounded good. Yeah, mm -hmm. most of your your typical things um, weren't coming out this time. So yeah, it was nice, mm -hmm. adorable. Yeah, everything was good, man. Thank Very you, nice. Thank Very thank nice. You, mm -hmm. uh, good. Let's go back to Christiane. Okay, Christiane, let me have you read from "We Both Like Rabbits." Uh, finish this paragraph. And read down to here where it says picked it, picked out for him, please. Okay. We bought like rabbits and they look so sad. And we know he is watching or waiting waiting for someone to take him and love him. With buzz of us, he will get double the love. Mr. Hiley got the got the habit, the cage and some straw for them to make sure they had everything they sh would need care to care for the hatch. Do you have a name you picked you out for him? Okay, very good. Uh, now, first thing here, remember E sounds at the end of words in English. In most cases, they are going to be silent. So instead of a name, a name yeah. picked out, this is a name picked out. Try that. A name picked out. There you go. Good. Uh, next up is, okay, the word would. Now, here you had said would, okay? And so instead of an oo all the way through, uh, you want to open your mouth. So this is they would need, they would, would, they would need. Try they, that. They would need. Good, good. Now, one of the things that I'm doing, if you were listening before with, with Heidi, how we had how I had her combine the D sound with the TH, you can also combine the D and the N, saying would need. I do not finish the D sound. I say they would need. Try that. They would need. Good, good. Nice job. Uh, next up, the AW. Okay, the AW, instead of being an ow sound, the AW now equals a ah. Straw. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so instead of saying straw and adding an oo at the end, it's only an ah. So you end with your mouth open. Straw. Straw. Yeah, just like that. Okay, yeah. one more time. Straw. Straw. Great, great, good job. Uh, next up, let's uh, let's go to the word will. Okay, uh, curve your tongue upwards and touch the top of your mouth with your L. Okay, the, your L sound. So it's will, will. Will. Good. So he will get double. Try that. He will get double. Great, great. Uh, next up is, um, okay, he looks so sad. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, right here. So he looks so sad. So a couple things here. Looks instead of looks. An oo sound, it's an uh, just like what we did with wu, would. Instead of wood, it was wood. Okay, same thing here. He look, he looks so sad. Try that. He looks so sad. Okay, now with the D. Okay, we want to say sad. Sad. Good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you, too. No problem. All right, let's go to um, Daniel. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead and finish this story from Rachel down to the end, please. Okay. Rachel said, we are going to call him Double Trouble because of us being twins. Uh, Mr. Riley laughed, and the girls carried Double Trouble to his new home where he would be taken good care of and given lots of love. They'd set up his cage in the garage checked on him to be sure he was happy and played with him often. Their dream of getting a pet had finally come true. All right. Nice job, man. Very good. Very good. Okay. So your typical things. Yeah, you did really well on. Uh, you combined these. That sounded really good. Okay. The only thing that I would probably modify, good sounded awesome. Wood was a little bit more ooey. Okay. So instead of woo, Okay, let's open your mouth up just a little bit more. Your D at the end sounded great, though. Okay, so he would, he would be taken. Try that. He would be taken. 
That's it. Good. All your other vowel sounds were really good, man. Laughed was good. Girls was good. Um, your endings. Yeah. Everything else was nice. Really good job. Really good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let's go to our next story, you guys. Okay. The Lonely gold Goldfish. Okay. There is our link. Okay, Heidi is up first. And Heidi, uh, please finish this paragraph. Mm -hmm. And then read down to, uh, let me have you read down to Asked Mom, please. Sam has a goldfish. He keeps his goldfish in a small bowl next to his bed. Sam is careful not to overfeed his goldfish and make sure he was clean water and it ha and is happy. One day, Sam said to his mom, I don't think Tinker is very happy. Why do you say so? Say that, asked mom. Okay, nice job. Nice job. Let's go to the word very. Okay, give me a good R instead of very happy. Very, it's very. Is very happy. Try that. Okay, it's very happy. That's it. Good job. One more time. Is very happy. Is very happy. Great, great. Uh, next is the word bowl. Instead of ball, okay, it's an O sound. Bowl. Bowl. There you go. Okay, so a small bowl next to his bed. A small bowl next to bed. Uh, next Good. To bed. Good, much better. Okay, and I think what threw you off is you had small, and then you go into and th this vowel sound, which they're very similar. Okay, so small bold. That was really good. Not last time around. Okay, um, and this word here, instead of goldfish, gold, it's goldfish. 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 Good, excellent. That was great. Okay, nice job, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go to whoops, Victor, I believe. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, Victor, please read from uh, Sam told his mom and finish this paragraph, please. Sam told his mom that Tinker has no one to swim with and that he sometimes just sits behind this toy tree in his bowl. Do you think Tinker would be happy to have another fish to swim with him? Asked his mom. Yes, cried Sam. That would be great. Okay, nice job, nice job. Let's uh, let's try the difference between these two words right here. Okay, uh, do you think Tinker? Do you think Tinker? Do you think Tinker? Do you think Tinker? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I had myself muted. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> nice job here. Uh, I was going, I was going into it. Yeah, and I was speaking to myself. Uh, so good, good Tinker, job. This uh, common name? Uh, Tinker. No, this is like a name for an animal. Oh, okay. I yeah. Thought it Tinker. <laughs> like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. So when when you, the first time through, you were saying think Tinker, and it mm -hmm. was like a, double, a th here as well. But this last mm -hmm. time around, that was really good. Um, let's try. Um, this here. So here we're focusing on toy. So we want an oi ending on an e sound. Toy tree. Okay. And then bowl. Okay. Bowl. So his toy tree in his bowl. Please. His toy tree in his bowl. That's it. That was great. And let's see. That was. Yeah. That was it. That was it. Everything else is great. Okay. Nice job. Thank you, Chad. No problem. Um, excellent. Let's go back up to the top to Christiane. Okay, Christiane, please read from the next day. And read down here to where it says, uh, pick a friend for Tinker, please. Okay. The next, the next day after Sam came home from school, he and his mom went to the pet store to buy another of the fish goldfish friend for Tinker. The store had only three goldfish left. Sam could not decide, uh, Sam could not decide with one they wanted to take home. 
he talked and the talked, but could not pick a friend for Tinker. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to uh, the word thought. Okay, so he thought and thought. Try that. He thought and thought. Okay, much better. Um, next up, um, Sam could not decide. Okay, so two things here. This word here, instead of could, it's could, could, could not. All right, and this word is decide. So Sam could not decide. Try that. Sam could not decide. Mm -hmm. Good, one more time. Sam could not decide. Sam could not decide. Great, great. Uh, no. Uh, you can say couldn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sam couldn't decide. Okay. Okay. Now, but when we do that, if you take a look here at uh, how that's written out, um. Okay. Ah, uh, whoops. Dang it. Couldn't decide. Uh, okay. Uh, here in the chat box. So we have a D N T D. All of those sounds start and end. Actually, L, I mean, the L is going to be silent here, but if we had an L there, it would be the same thing. So D and T, D. So all of those sounds are going to kind of be mixed in together. So when I say couldn't decide, okay, couldn't, I'm not actually finishing the D and T, and then I'm starting that D. So couldn't, okay, mm -hmm. couldn't decide. I don't pronounce that T into the D, couldn't decide. That's basically how I say that, so it's all sort of mixed. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, next up is um, fish. fish. Um, go goldfish. Instead of fish, goldfish, goldfish. Try that. Goldfish. There you go. Good. Um, let's go to went to the pet store. Now, here, uh, we want to practice the T's, and you had skipped over the word the. Okay, so it's went to the pet store. Went to the pet store. Good. One more time. Went to the pet store. Went to the pet store. Great. Uh, last one here. We want to combine these two words. The next day. So, kiss day. The next day. The next day. Great. Great. Just like that. All right. Thank you. Thank you, too. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. Let's go to Daniel. Mm -hmm. All right. Daniel, please read from finally. Uh, finish this paragraph and read down to uh, read down to this comma where it says uh, plenty of room to swim. Plenty of room. Okay. Better. Finally, mom said to the man at the pet store, uh, "We'll take all three." Well, yelled Sam, "That would be great. Tinker will not be lonely, lonely anymore." Uh, because Sam and his mom bought three fish, they had to buy a bigger ball so the fish would have plenty of room to swim. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at three words here. <laughs> okay, so this sound, instead of ball, it's bowl, bowl, a bigger bowl. A bigger bowl. There you go, that's it. Okay, one more time, a bigger bowl. A bigger bowl. That's it. Good. Uh, next is the word lonely. Here the E is not going to be pronounced. So instead of lonely, it's lonely. Okay? Be lonely anymore. Be lonely anymore. Perfect. Okay. And our last word is wheel. Okay? So you had separated this contraction saying we will take. Okay? So this is we'll take all three. Wheel. We'll take all three. We'll take all three. Mm -hmm. One more time. We'll take all three. We'll take all three. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. All right. So we went to swim. Okay. Very good. Um, Heidi. Yeah. All right. Heidi, please read from and they even. Okay. And let's see here. Well, let's uh, yeah, let's just have you finish this off. Okay, go ahead and uh, read down to the end, please. And they and they even bought another toy for the new family of fish. When Sam got home and put put all the fish together in their new bowl, Tinker started swimming so fast. Sam knew Tinker was now a happy fish and no longer lonely. 
he spent the night uh, thinking of three names for his new fish and watched them all get along uh, while the, he sat on the, his bed. Some was no lonely either. I'm sorry, some was not lonely either. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's take a look at a few parts here. First up, um, uh, so sat on his bed. So instead of sata on, sata, okay, it's sat on, sat on his bed. Sat on his bed. There you go, good. Uh, next up is, okay, uh, we're going we're gonna to combine these sounds. Watch them. Instead of watch watched them. them so watch combine them. those. Yeah, good. One more time. Watch them. What's them? Great. Uh, next word is three. Give me a good T H R here. Three. Three. Good. One more time. Three. 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 Okay. Good. Uh, and last one here. The fish together. The fish. The fish together. The fish together. Okay. Instead of fish, fi, i, fi, fish. The fish together. The fish. The fish together. Okay, almost. So let's uh, let's take off that F sound. Just give me the I S H. So it's I ish ish. ish, ish. That's it. That's it. Good. One more time. Ish. Ish. Good. All right. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna say f ish. Fish. There. That's it. Good. One more time. Fish. Fish. Great. Got it. Okay. That was that's a good short I sound. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, let's go to our next story. Chala, I have a question. Sure, what's up? Um, why is the correct pronunciation uh, either or either? Um, uh, either one is okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, with, uh, with regard to that, um, I, I switch. I switch all the time. It has, it has no real – there's no real reason um, to why, uh, just whichever one I feel like using. Um, there is no correct pronunciation. You can say either or either. Um, okay. A lot of times it just depends on where you grew up. Okay. Now this is unlike the word the, you guys. Uh, some teachers out there uh, say that uh, yes you can say the. Okay. Yes you can, but it's only in, in, in certain situations. Um, maybe with titles, maybe. Even then we still say the. Okay, mm -hmm. if you say the, it sort of sounds funny to us, like you're trying too hard to say the word. Okay, um, but uh, in so, same thing with a. Okay, we say a. Uh, all right, but either is not that way. You could say either or either, and it's not going to sound funny. Uh, okay, okay, but yeah, the and and a uh are typically going to be pronounced that way because it helps us link words. Okay, those are those are non-essential, non-important words. They're structure words. Okay, instead of content words. Uh, okay. Okay. I got it. All right. Good Thank question. You. Uh huh. Um, very good. And uh, Christiane, I do see your your comment. We'll uh, we'll take a look at your D and T sounds and how uh, and how to manipulate manipulate your tongue so far. You've been okay thus far, Christiane, because you're also integrating what are called stop sounds, like a stop D and a stop T which is good because that's how we pronounce them, okay? But it's also good to know how to pronounce a D at the end of a word because uh, uh, you're not alone. Most people most people can't pronounce the D at the end of the word, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right? It, ta it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work to get there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's go to Victor. Oh, no, I didn't put the story in, did I? Or did I? No, here we go. Uh, there and... Here's the other one. This should be, yeah, gym class. All right, Victor, uh, you are up first. We are on gym class. Let me have you read from uh, Kelly Loves. And let me have you go ahead and read this whole first paragraph, please. Kelly loves school, especially gym class. She is a very good student and enjoys reading and math. But Kelly has a hard time in gym class. She is not good at jumping very far. She has trouble throwing a ball. And she cannot run really fast. 
Sometimes the other kids in her gym class give her a hard time and make fun of her. So why would Kelly love gym class? All right, nice job, nice job. Uh, no issues with her at all. We had it one, two, three. Uh, let's see, at least three times there at the end. Yeah, that was really good. Her sounded great. Um, also, great job between trouble and throwing. Mm -hmm. Okay, manipulating both those sounds, saying trouble and then throwing. Your R's mm -hmm. after those T's were good. Okay, uh, great. So two things here for you. Okay, first up, uh, this word here, she cannot. Okay, we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna um, emphasize the end of the word, and uh, can is gonna be pronounced kun. Okay, and she cannot run fast, really fast. She cannot. She cannot run really fast. There you go. Good. Yes, yeah, so we switch that to an uh sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, good. And the last one is the word good. So instead of gu u good, it's good. She's not good at jumping. She's not good at jumping. There you go. Good. One more time. She's not good at jumping. She's not good at jumping. Great job. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. No problem. All right, Christian. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay, reading from her teacher. Okay, um, and let's see. Let's have you read down to uh, over it. So practice jumping over it, please. Mm -hmm. Her teacher, Mr. Burns, knows that Kelly has a hard time doing certain activities in the class. The reason Kelly enjoys going to gym class is because Mr. Burns always there uh, always tells her to do her best. Even if she only runs for a few minutes, Mr. Burns says, Good job, the next time you will be able to go a little longer. Mr. Burns even put a small box on the gym floor so Kelly would be able to practice jumping over it. Okay, very good. Let's uh, let's try that last part one more time. Um, so practice jumping over it. Practice jumping over it. Try it. Practice jumping over it. There you go. Good. Good. All right. So um, uh, let's go to uh, these two sounds right here. So moving from a a D sound to a B. Okay, so your, your vowel your vowel sound was just fine, uh, but we're going to work on these two here. So this is going to be, Kelly would be able to. Kelly would be able to. Kelly would be able to. Good, good. Now, notice what you're doing. Okay, so it's important you guys to understand um, the mechanics of, of how you're how you're pronouncing the word, um, so that you can kind of think through it and, and and modify how how you say things sometimes. Okay, so when you're saying that, when you're saying would would, would. okay, so when you stop, you're using your vocal cords. This is a voice sound, so understand that D is voiced. So you say would be able to. So we don't we don't finish that D. We're kind of moving and we're stopping right on the D and going into the B. Would be able to. Would be able to. Okay, try that one more time. Would be able to. Would be able to. Okay, good, good. Uh, next is... Um, next is next time, I think. Okay, so right here. Um, so whenever you have two consonants, uh, one at the end of a word and one at the beginning of the next, you're going to combine those sounds. We only want one T sound. So this is next time, next time. Next time. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, next up is the word minutes. Instead of minutes, minutes, it's mi, minutes. Minutes. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, next is the word uh, tells her. Okay, so um, instead of tells her to do her best, it's tell. Tells her to do her best. Tells her to do her best. Try that. Tells um, tells her to do the best. Sorry. Tells her to do her best. Okay, so when you say two, your T sounds awesome. When you're pronouncing tells, you're saying dells. Dells. Okay, so T, 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 tell. Tells. Uh-huh, there you go, that's the T. 
tells her, tells her to do her best. Tells, tells her to do the, her best. Uh huh. Good. One last time. Tells her to do her best. Tells her to do the, her best. Okay. Good. Yeah. Just remember when you have a T at the beginning of a word. Okay. And there is not a T uh, or a D or an N or an L. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, at the end of that last word. Okay. It's going to sit by itself and it's going to be a normal T sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next up is the word enjoys. Okay, right here. Enjoys. Try that. Enjoys. There you go. Much better with the vowel sound. And last word here is knows. Okay, this K is silent. So instead of knows, it's knows. Knows. Great. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, too. No problem. Um, all right. Let's see here. Next is Daniel. Uh -huh. Okay, Daniel, let's have you read from uh, Great Job. And read down to here where it says uh, uh, over three boxes in class, please. Great job, Kelly. You get better every day. That night when Kelly finished dinner, she went to her room and placed some small boxes in a row and began practicing jumping over them. Uh, she was able to jump over three boxes. Kelly thought to herself, tomorrow in gym class I will be able to jump over those boxes. And sure enough, Kelly did jump over three boxes in class. Okay, great job. Good job. Let's take a look at three parts. First up, we have thought. Thought to herself. Okay, so combining these here, uh, forget about that G. So instead of uh, thought, okay, thought. Only an ah sound here. Okay. So Kelly thought to herself. Kelly talked to, to herself. Okay, give me a good th instead of tot. It's th thought, como theta. Right? So <laughs> Kelly thought to herself. Kelly thought to herself. That's it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, next up is the word over instead of over. It's o. Okay, so jumping over them. Jumping over them. Great, great. One more time. Jumping over them. Jumping over them. Great. Okay, next up is this this phrase right here. So we're taking a look at two things, okay? Uh, the flap T here in the middle for better instead of be better, bed, better. And here this is going to be every day. So we're going to stress the word day instead of every day. Okay, it's every day. So you get better every day. You get better every day. Great, great. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, shall I have a question? Sure. Just as the after class, the other kiss, you can say the other kiss. It's better to say the other kiss, right? Nope. You could say the other. The. The yeah, other. The, the other. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, either, either way, you can say the other, but again... Um, typically, we say the, and, what you, and you'd combine them, even though it's the same or similar sound. Okay? The, uh, uh the, uh, the other, the other kids. Okay. Got it. Okay? All right. Good. Let's, uh, let's continue here. Um, Heidi, you are next. Please continue from the, the other kids. Mm -hmm. uh, finish this paragraph and read down to, um, let's see... here um, yeah come down to here where it says track this uh, this comma please yeah the other kids started to see how well Kelly was doing and said to her good job it was Tuesday and time for the weekly relay, relay, <laughs> relay race in gym class Kelly was scared that she uh, she would not be able to go very far, or some kids would laugh at her. But when Mr. Burns said, ready, set, go, Kelly thought to herself, I can do it, I can do it, as Kelly ran around the track. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's go to the word herself first. So instead of herself, saying ha, okay, curve your tongue up a bit, her. Herself. Try that? Herself. Herself. There you go. Good, good. Uh, next up is 
All right. Yes, this tongue twister here. Oh, this is a great one. So, um, the weekly relay race. The weekly uh, relay race. The weekly re relay race. <laughs> yeah, that's a challenging one. That that is tough. Okay, one more time. The weekly relay race. The weekly re relay race. <laughs> there you go. That's much better. One more time. The weekly relay race. The weekly re the weekly relay race. Good. There you go. That's okay. Yeah, if you have to pause a little bit, that's fine. Okay, nice job. Nice job. Uh, let's see here. One last uh, one last one. Okay. Uh, good. Good job instead of good. Okay? Give me an uh uh. Good. Good job. Good job. There you go. Good. One more time. Good job. Good job. Great. Great. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next up is Victor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Victor, please read from She Found Herself. And read down to uh, Proud of Herself. So she keeps finding herself. There we go. She found herself moving closer and closer into first place. All of a sudden... She heard many cheers and kids yelling, Go Kelly, you can do it. That was all she needed to hear. Kelly ran around the track as fast as she could and headed for the finish line. She made it. Kelly finished first. The kids clapped and cheered for her. Kelly felt so good and proud of herself. Okay, nice job. Nice job. All right, let's go to the word good. So Kelly felt so good and proud of herself. Kelly felt so good and proud of herself. There you go. That's it. Nice vowel sound on good. Okay. Uh, next up is, um, okay, headed. Instead of he, headed, with an A sound, it's a short E. Headed. Headed for the finish line. Headed for the finish line. There you go. Good. Okay. Let's try this. As fast as she could. Okay, same thing with good. We're going to say mm -hmm. uh, could, as fast as she could. As fast as she could. Great. That was awesome. Um, and, uh, okay. Okay, so here instead of ye, yelling, it's ye, eh, yell, yelling. Yelling. Good. One more time. Yelling. Yelling. Okay, super. And the last one here is... Closer and closer. Instead of uh, mm -hmm. a Z sound, closer, it's close. Closer, closer and closer. Try that. Cl closer and closer. Awesome. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back up to the top here to Christiane. Yes. All right, Christiane, let's have you read from Thank You, Mr. Burns. And we'll have you uh, go ahead and finish up the, uh, the story. Okay, reading down to the end, she needed to do anything. I think that's okay. it. Yep, that's it. Um, okay, go ahead and start it up. Thank you, Mr. Burns, said Kelly. Kelly, you run the race, not me. Yes, but you always said I could, to, could, could do it. After that day, Kelly tried her, her hardest at everything and the kids no longer dogged, logged or made fun of her. In fact, when the kids needed someone on the team or jumping or running, running, Kelly was the first person they could pick. She will always remember Mr. Burns and the kind words he said to her. Thanks to Mr. Burns, Kelly had the confidence she needed to do anything. Okay, nice job, nice job. All right, so let's uh, let's go to. Okay, she will always. All right, so give me a good L here instead of will. It's will. She will always. She will always. Okay, one more time. She will always. She will always. Okay, so let's slow this down just a little bit, okay? Uh, because your inclination or what you want to do with that L is say ooh, okay? So we need to fight against that, okay? And we're going to create a new word. That new word is lolled ways lol ways okay so the way that we pronounce this is lol okay lol lu way mm -hmm. okay lol uh, mm -hmm. ways like that lol ways 
Wow. See that? Good, good. So now all we're going to do is pronounce the short I, the W and the short I in front. So it's will always. Will always. Okay, okay. So so it's will always. Will always. Try that one more time. Will always. Okay, good, good. Now let's try and mush it together just a little bit. Okay, so it's will always. Will always. Yes, there you go. Okay, now let's add she. She will always remember. She will always. <laughs> she will always remember. Okay, oh. good, good. You're almost there. You're almost there. Okay, one more time. Yeah, and uh, and with that R as well. That's a that's a hard one to move right into. So, she will always remember. She will we will always remember. Yes, good, good. Now, uh, you guys, you can break up words like this whenever you want to, okay? Um, uh, just remember, most English words kind of combine or fit together somehow, right? And so by creating a whole new word, okay, like lolways, okay, that will help you pronounce that, especially if you, if you speak Portuguese, and it's, and it's challenging for you to say the word will, Okay, because you want to say will and pronounce an oo sound at the end. Mm -hmm. All right, so move that L because the L at the beginning of a word is much easier for you to say. Now, are we really moving the L? No. Okay, but in your mind we are. So if you move where you're pronouncing it and, and you're creating a whole new word, lolways, all of a sudden it becomes easier for you to, to perform that, that L sound. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's it's just a little trick of breaking up words so that you you're able to to pronounce it. Okay. All right, let's go to this word right here. The word is picked instead of picket. Okay, go straight to a T sound. Picked. Picket. Okay, so uh, you want to jump over this E instead of picket. It's picked. Picked. Picket. There you go. Good. One more time. Picked. Picket. Okay, almost, almost, much, uh, much better though. Okay, all right, let's go to uh, these two words here. This is uh, uh, jumping or running, jumping or running, jumping or running. Great, great, much better. Uh, next is uh, the word needed, right here. Okay, we're ending on D sounds. Okay, so this is needed. Needed. Okay, now. To understand your D, okay, the way the way to pronounce the D, what you have to do is move your tongue back in your mouth, okay, because right now you're pronouncing a T just like what you were saying here in your message, okay. So uh, understand that when you pronounce your your D, okay, instead of having your tongue touch your teeth or having it up close closer to your teeth, you need to move it back, okay, sort of like a an R sound. In uh, in Portuguese, the second R, not the first one. Okay, so it's like Maria instead of um, what would what would be a good R word in Ronaldo, right? So Ronaldo instead of that R where it's a ho sound, it's the second one, Mari, D D D D D D D. Okay, need needed need. Okay, so your tongue is back here in the middle of your mouth. D D need needed. Okay, try that. Need it. Okay, almost, almost. So what you need to fight against is having your tongue move forward. The other thing, the second thing that that uh, Portuguese speakers do, especially with the ed ending where it ends with a d or a t, okay, like waited or needed, okay, uh, you typically or you have a tendency to say needed, and you pronounce an extra id sound there, okay. So you have to fight against that as well, okay. So, okay, so let's try it one more time. Pull the tongue back. And it's just going to go straight up and down. You don't want it to move forward. Okay, so needed. 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 Okay, okay almost, almost. Let's uh, let's have you just say this word right here. Did. 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 Okay, let's uh, let's have you do this. I want you to say did, 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 did. Did, 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 did. did. Okay, good. That's your new exercise. Okay, so what you're going to do, um, you're going to say that word did over again, okay, over and over again. You're also going to say dud, okay. I also want you to say dead 
and dad. Okay, so what that means is with did, you're going to say did, 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 did. Okay, and you're going to practice just D's all around. Then it's dud, 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 dud. Then it's E sound, dead, 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 dead. And an A sound, dad, 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 dad. Okay? Now, what you have to remember is that your tongue is a muscle, and what you're doing is making it stronger. Okay, because right now it doesn't want you. It doesn't want to do what you're telling it to do. Okay, and this goes for uh, any uh, any of you who have issues with the uh, the D sound at the end of uh, end of a word or or anything like that. Okay, this is a great exercise for you as well as just saying da. So da 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 da. Okay, same thing. This one's a little bit more challenging because you're bouncing bouncing on that D. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I think that well you know what yeah let's uh, let's end uh, let's end right here we only have a couple of uh, minute or so left um, but okay thank you guys for coming in uh, tomorrow we'll be doing advanced uh, advanced reading and pronunciation okay excellent excellent work you guys uh, Victor Heidi and Daniel okay you guys have really corrected a lot of uh, a lot of the things you've been uh, we've been working on okay really good job really good job okay excellent all right, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Guys, take care. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. Bye -bye.